Hey there beauties, Jaleesa Sharice here, and today I'm going to be showing you how I achieve a wash and go on my 4C hair. So if you want to learn how I go from this to this, keep watching. First I start with clean, super soaking wet hair because the texture is best defined when it is soaking wet. I take a section of my hair that I want to work on and then clamp down the rest that I'm not working on with clips. Now that I've detangled and added a little bit of leave-in spray, I'm going to move on to my gel of choice. And I'm going to be using the Crush Defining Gel from the Camille Rose Lavender Collection. Next, I'm going to distribute the gel through my hair, through the sections with my fingers. And then I'm going to start finger curling or coiling my hair. And this helps me maintain my natural pattern and define each and every section and strand. This method that I use to achieve my wash and goes is pretty much kind of like a shingling method and a coil out method all in one. The reason why I coil my hair instead of just simply shingling is because my hair, like if I do a twist out or pretty much any style, it's going to naturally coil. So I want to keep my natural texture. If you have coily hair like me, don't get super scared if you see like really, really tight coils. You can always separate them once they dry to create more volume. And then once I'm done with the section that I'm working on, I will repeat the steps until I have completed my entire head. When I'm all done, I shake my hair and prepare for the drying process. To dry my hair, I'm going to be using my Golden Hot Portable Bonnet Hair Dryer. And I can pull the bonnet out. There's a little hole here where I can connect the tube. It's very easy to connect and I'm ready to go. So I just place the bonnet over my head, make sure it's tightened all the way. And I'm gonna set the heat to probably about medium heat and sit under the dryer for 20 minutes. I'm done drying my hair and I've taken the bonnet off and my hair is a little bit shrunken, but that's okay. There's nothing that a little bit of fluffing can't fix. And if I want to, I can separate some of my coils that I feel are like are coiled a little bit too tightly. It's perfectly fine. It adds a little bit more volume as well. For final touches, I'm going to be using the Lavender White Clay Edge Custard and a soft bristle toothbrush. I'm going to apply a little bit of the edge custard to my edges and use the toothbrush to smooth my edges a little bit and clean them up. So 
Typically once the hair is fluffed out and completely dry, there is volume, but if I want to add more, I'll use a pick at my roots. However, I like to make sure that I don't pick too much and end up picking out the beautiful coils that I've spent time creating. And now I'm ready to go out. By the end of the day, my coils and texture are really popping, but I want to preserve them throughout the week, so I'm going to pineapple my hair before going to bed. And pineappling is pretty much just putting your curls or coils up with a scarf so then that you don't create a lot of friction during the day or at night while you're sleeping on your pillowcase. And don't forget the curls in the back. Make sure those go up as well. And this will also stretch your hair a little bit on the sides and in the back. I know a lot of girls who just pineapple their hair and go straight to sleep, but I can sleep pretty wild, so I need some double protection, and I'm gonna be using my bonnet over everything. So I'm gonna tighten that up, and I am ready to go to bed. Good night, guys. So I'm taking my bonnet off and typically my hair packs overnight when I sleep on it so I definitely have to fluff in the morning and I'm going to take my scarf off and proceed to refreshing my hair for day two. And as you can see my hair is a little bit stretched in the back because it's been pineappled. So I'm going to refresh my hair. I'm going to spray the lavender shaken hair spritzer all over my head. The refreshing spray not only reactivates the product that I've already used, but it also helps me be able to fluff my hair in the morning. If you're a natural that gets a lot of shrinkage like me, I recommend using a refreshing spray over water because it's going to help you avoid additional shrinkage. And once I've refreshed my hair, I'm going to go back and use the edge custard like I did the day before, before going out again. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and got some tips on how to achieve and maintain a wash and go throughout the entire week. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!